Hey everybody, it's Mark Shepard and I've been taking it easy lately so I haven't really been doing any special reports because I need a little vacation if you know what I mean. But today, today I am looking deeply, just standing here looking deeply at Bitcoin. And I have a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys because I think it's about to pop. I think it's a really good time to buy it if you like Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is almost at a perfect purchase place. And I want to just explain what my thinking is. And remember, I'm not giving advice. I am learning and I'm trying to kind of think out loud so that I have a record of what I was thinking so that in the future, if I have a question, I can refer back to what I learned and remind myself of the lessons. And if that helps you guys, great. And if you appreciate that, cool. And if you want to go deeper, check out my music, Go to honesthypnosis.com, check out some of the other stuff I do there, and uh, let's let's start a conversation. All right, so here we go. I'm looking at this, and uh, I added a, a shorter moving day average just to see uh, what that would do. So um, I've, I've got the one hour pulled back here a little bit, but let's go to the, the one day first, and let's look at kind of what is going on here and and I'll share my theories with you um, obviously Bitcoin before Christmas had a correction boom it slammed down and that was such a temporary touchdown that what it's done is actually gone up and come back to the line gone up a little higher and come back to the line and that's the thing is, I think the next one of these sets is going to make a run for this. Uh, we have we have this resistance here, but we we also have this resistance up here. So I think the next set of these, either the next one or the one after that, is going to run for this spot here. So if you got in here down in the thirteen, the the, the uh, twelve thousand ninety to thirteen thousand. 500 range you're gonna do okay because we have enough of a new trend and this trend believe it or not connects nicely to the last recovery or the last uh, pullback which was back in November so I think Bitcoin is getting ready to if not totally pop it's definitely getting ready to move up to this next level of resistance uh, once it breaks through the uh, and again, this is a, a U.S. dollar chart uh, through the 16, 17,000 ish area, um, probably 17,000. Uh, and if it breaks through that, it's probably going to go to 19 and then test the 20 line again, um, which is up here somewhere. Whoops, good enough. So that's, but it may not do that on the next wave, right? So that's kind of what I'm seeing, and I I see this. Pretty good support here. The only thing that concerns me is we are way above the 200-day moving average and the 100-day moving average, but we have dipped a little below the 50, and I added a 25-day um, average just to see what that could tell me. It's a little bit shorter, but it's it's more than a week. You know, I wanted to see. Okay, I need like a two-week thing. What's is it in momentum? Is it stopping? Is it uh, so that's what where I'm trying to get my head around. So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. So leave some comments below uh, how you look at these charts, what what you think about it. I want to hear what real people who are really trading think about it. I don't want to hear what the fucking media has to say because they're obviously idiots. What is your what are your feelings and what are you hearing? And if we all kind of searched out different news sources, like my main news sources are. You know, and, and trading sources are um, Data Dash, um, Crypto Grinders, um, Crypto Investor. Uh, I like uh, Box Mining and Ivan uh, on tech. 
uh, there's a couple of new people I'm looking at as well, but that's like, that's all I can do. I can monitor those guys and I can monitor some of these people on Twitter to find out what's going on behind what's going on. But I think if you guys spread out and you searched out other areas and we kind of kept each other up to date in the comment section below or somehow, um, it might be helpful. So let me know what you think about that because uh, I can learn a lot from you guys and you guys might be able to learn something from me and maybe we can help each other out. That's the whole idea of this channel. So uh, that's it. Just looking at uh, hmm, Bitcoin. Let's let's dive in since this is all I'm talking about. <laughs> I will get you out of here soon though. Um, if we dive in, we have just hit this support twice on this last little down leg. And we've hit support twice and it's still well above past support and it's well on the line. It's right on the line that I just drew on all the bottoms. A very the simplest lowest average, right? That's I just want to know what's the, what's the lowest it's going to tend to do. Because that's where I look to protect myself risk-wise. Does that make sense? Um, that's, la that's what I'm how I'm thinking about it. Uh, so what I'm seeing here also is I'm seeing that the uh, we're coming up now on the 100 hour. And it feels like we're going to cross it. So that to me seems like we could be at a shift point. So I would say like this right here, not a bad place to get in. Right there. So it's at a point, you know, it seems to be trending. It seems to be moving up. Oh, I'm drawing lines. <laughs> Um, it seems to be moving up, um, and it and if you, and if you think of it as an animal, as a live creature, right, as some kind of an inchworm, Jesus, <laughs> I don't want to move the chart. I just want to drag the line. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Oh, it's oh, it's a drawing line. It just looks like. Okay, let's get rid of it. Got it. See, I can teach you guys how to how to do chart stuff because I have no clue what I'm doing, and I'm but I'm learning. Okay, so if you think of this as a shaggy beast, right, and it has to have a place to put its feet, right? So it's humped itself up, and it's come down here and it's drooping it's drooping but this is where the real support is this solid line right here this is really where it has been every time it lands right here right so it lands here little hop here but this one is bigger than that one so it's the next one it's going to have more energy and it has this good grounding here it has something to push off against. Do you know what I mean? Do you see this? So that's what I'm thinking, and I want to see if what I'm thinking is true, and we'll know in the next couple of days. Let's see what happens. The other option is it just keeps going down, right? But is, is there anything fundamentally different about Bitcoin today than two days before Christmas? No, it's the same Bitcoin. Right? It's just what people think about it. And enough people got scared or enough people took profits. So it changed the pattern enough. And now the market, some people think it's going up. Some people think it's going down. But now more people are thinking it's going up. Right? We have more buys than sells. But some of those people are day traders and they're, they're going right out because they know it's coming down here again and they'll pick some more up down here. Right? This is tradable. This is a day trader's dream. Because you know, if you got in here today, 
you could go up probably at least to 18,000. Where's 18,000? Sell there, boom, and wait till it comes back down. Right? That's, that's a fair certainty if it pushes off here. If it's really weak and scared, and the Korea ban's going to destroy Bitcoin and, and the, it's the end of the world, then it could come back down much, much farther. So that's what I'm thinking, people. Please let me know what you think. That's it for now. Peace, grooviness, over and out. If you like it, subscribe. Give me them thumbs up. Bring that little bell. Do I have to say that every time? I kind of feel like an idiot when I say that. But you know what? If I can feel like an idiot, that keeps me humble. <laughs> and thank you very much, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Let's do this again. All right. Peace, grooviness, over and out. Start the music. <laughs>